So I'm gonna talk about buying an ATM on eBay. Um, my last ATM, I bought it uh, off of eBay. Um, the location was uh, someone that was local, so they didn't have to ship it. Um, I seen the listing. Um, I bid on it. I won the bid, uh, and I only paid like a thousand twenty-five dollars for it for a uh, twenty-five hundred uh, dollar machine. And um, the machine was a uh, Heosung twenty-seven hundred. So uh, if you know anything about that machine, that's a pretty good machine. So uh, I got it for half the price from a guy that was getting out the business, and he just was trying to get rid of it. So um, uh, one of the big things is people don't want to spend that much money and not know if they're going to get scammed or not knowing if it's even going to work out. And what I tell people is that uh, if you already know about ATMs and know what to look for in an ATM, that's all you can really ask for. So you can ask that person questions, and if they respond in a timely manner, then it, more than likely they're going to be legit. You know, if you ask them questions and they don't respond, then I wouldn't buy anything from them. Because if they can't respond before you pay the money, how do you think you know they're going to respond after you pay the money? So one thing about eBay is that they offer a, a money-back guarantee no matter what. And that's true. Um, I'm a buyer and seller on, 18, uh, on eBay. And I've had people buy some of my products and they decide that they didn't want it or it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. And eBay will give you the chance to work it out. And if they don't, they'll open the case against you and they'll get the money back regardless. They'll just take the money out your uh, account and give it back to the person. But they won't give it back to the person until they send you back your product. So that's how it works. So had I bought this ATM and it wasn't as he described once I got it home. Uh, eBay won't pay him right away. So even though I pay for the ATM, they put the money on hold through PayPal. So he won't get his money until I review the product and I leave good foot, uh, feedback and I say everything's legit. And then maybe a week or two later, he'll get the money, uh, the thousand dollars that I paid paid him. Um, now, had a, the, if there was a problem with it uh, internally or the computer didn't work, then I would tell eBay like, hey, he didn't describe it as this. You know, he kind of scammed me. Ebay would uh, suggest that I contact him and work it out, and if that doesn't happen, I can open the case against him. Uh, Ebay will look at it for like seven days, and if they don't hear back from him, they'll just automatically give me my money back, uh, and then they will give me uh, like a shipping address, and I just had to ship it back to him, uh, and that's pretty much how that works. So um, they do want you to give the product back to the person, but they will give you your money back. So um, I always say buying an ATM is like buying a car. You know, if you uh, never bought a car before and you don't know what to look for, uh, it's almost like you don't know whether or not it's a lemon or not. So you don't know nothing about looking under the hood, checking, you know, checking brakes, checking if it got a battery, whatever the case might be. Same thing with an ATM. Like if you get an ATM and you don't know what to look for, like even if it's in front of you, you don't know what to look for, what's what part works with what, cut it on, and you know how to program it and stuff like that. Um, it's the same concept you know you wouldn't know if you bought it off the eBay if you don't know what to look for or what questions to ask for so um, and, and in conclusion really like eBay is really safe um, like I say they do offer you your money back you know so if you do buy something that isn't as described uh, worst case scenario you just have to contact customer service and open the case uh, they'll investigate it for like seven days and then uh, if they conclude that you know the item isn't as described they'll give you your money back no matter what. But uh, I've been pretty fortunate that I hadn't have that happen. So even as a uh, seller on eBay, I sell on eBay also, and I've had maybe like three situations where the person wanted their money back, but I was able to work it out. You know, I had no problem giving their money back, but they just had to ship my product back. So um, that's just something to look into. Like when I look at um, ATMs on eBay, I look at everything, uh, the description. If it's a description that's real vague, I'll ask the seller some questions. And if they answer back real quick, um, that's a good sign. But if they don't answer back at all, then I wouldn't spend no money on it. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to show pretty much the transaction between me and uh, the guy I bought it from. Uh, let me pull it up right here. So this is the uh, original description right here. And <clears throat> this pretty much had, uh, he had 11 pictures. And it was listed as an ATM machine, your son. Upgraded EMV chip card reader. And local pickup was in Maryland Heights, Missouri, which is in the St. Louis area. Uh, condition is used, gives the brand uh, item number. And this is his description right here. 
ATM machine hire your son with upgraded EMV chip card reader. Condition is used. Local pickup or shipping is available at purchase cost. So, I mean, it's a pretty short description. Um, and then I'm looking down here. It, it has this 100% uh, feedback. So I'll look at that. I'll, uh, let me see here. I usually will click on there. Uh, I'll look at all, see all feedback. Uh, this is the f uh, feedback that I gave him on the uh, transaction. Oh, let me try to go. So I think he might have said, I think he has some other products on here. Well, not really. I think mine is the last one he had. So he said he hadn't sold anything on eBay for a while. So that's the only thing I hadn't seen a lot of feedback. So I'll just go into the questions I was asking him. So I asked him if he'd be willing to take a thousand dollars, and I let him know that you know I'm already an independent ATM buyer, and I let him know like, hey, you know, buying a, mach uh, a machine on uh, eBay is a big risk anyway. Then he responded uh, that he was also an ATM owner, and he has several ATMs that he's been in the business for over uh, 14 years. And I sent that to him. Let's see, I think he got a response the next day. So he says my mom, my boss can make you another offer. And I let him know that I lived in the area too, so there's no need to be uh, shipping the item. So like I say, it's back and forth, back and forth. Um, so I let him know when I was gonna be making a payment. And then we set up a time to meet. And he didn't he didn't have any pictures of the, of the machine turned on. So I asked him if he could send some pictures of the machine. And let me see if I can find that email real quick. So yeah, 11 pictures. These are the pictures that he had up. Yeah, pictures of the reject bin, the inside of it, the screen, outer service screen. Uh, the test printing paper. So these are pretty good pictures, though. That's pretty much the uh, control panel. And then I asked him for some additional uh, pictures, and he sent them. So something like this, I would take a chance on. You know, um, like I say, you back and forth with the person that owns it, asking them questions, they responding, trying to set up a, a payment. Um, they agreed to it. Uh, actually, I won the bid, so... After I won the bid, we exchanged numbers, uh, exchanged um, a location. I picked it up, and you know it was smooth. That was the first time I did a pickup, also. So uh, that where it worked out. You know, I picked a location that was like, you know, it wasn't like a dark alley or anything. I think we uh, met at a uh, local uh, VFW, so uh, we made the exchange there, and everything was all good. So just my take on the the eBay thing. Um, like I say, I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't do it if I was new and didn't know anything about ATMs. But if you have a familiar, uh, if you're familiar with uh, ATMs and how they work, what questions to ask for, what to look for, then uh, I don't think it'd be a bad idea to do it. Uh, like I say, eBay has a money back guarantee no matter what. Um, whether that person says no money gar uh, back guarantee on their description, eBay will override that because um, all they really care about is uh, this fraud thing. Is uh, a lot of people selling fraudulent, you know, um, machines, uh, clothes, hats, shoes. So eBay pretty much just said, hey, we're just going to give you money back guarantee. Um, but the money is not coming back from eBay. They're just going to take the money um, back out from being held. So like I said, you got they got like at least a week or two before they even get the money. So if the second day you get the uh, machine or whatever you buy and it's not what is uh, described, um, they will just give you back your money. You know what I'm saying? The person won't even get the money before you get a chance to, uh, uh, before they get a chance to collect it and go. So they have to literally wait. So you can give them a good feedback, and then eBay will uh, release the money. Uh, unless you get a buyer that's constantly buying uh, and has a top rating, and um, then a person like that will get their money right away. But eBay will still take the money back out their account if it's any kind of fraudulent um, things going on with it. So my experience has been pretty good with eBay. I actually uh, was going to get another ATM, but somebody outbid me on it. So um, let me show that real quick.
So here's the other one right here. It was going for $17.99, and then um, I uh, I watched it, and they sent me a message to sell it for $15.99. And then uh, we went back and forth, and I talked them down to like uh, $13.99, uh, but I told them I wouldn't be able to um, close on it until the following week, and we kind of agreed upon that. And like I said, they lived in uh, Lebanon, Missouri, which is like two hours away out from St. Louis. And um, we we're going to set up a, a payment and a meeting time. Well, like maybe two days after that, uh, somebody had purchased it and it wasn't available anymore. So that was one that I could have uh, got in on. That would have been my second one on eBay. And like I said, he has six pictures over here of it. Uh, pictures of the inside, pictures of the uh, you know serial number. Uh, he was very responsive every time I talked to him. So something like that, that had been very good. Um, that had been a, a, a deal I would have made to get that one. On the excellent working, working condition. Uh, you know, so he got all this stuff in here as a description. Big description and uh, all the important pictures. And I believe I also asked him uh, if he could take a picture of the EMV uh, behind the uh, the machine once he opened it up, and he did. So that one would have been a good one. But somebody, like I said, if you wait too long, somebody else will buy it, especially on some of these good ones. And then this one would have been another one that I had to meet up, meet up with him and make this change. Even though he says free shipping, I told him, like, hey, since I go down on the price, uh, it'll be cheaper if we can just meet. You know, if you can drive to St. Louis, that'd have been great. And then we'd have done the, uh, the deal then. So, like I say, it just depends on what you want to do. Uh, eBay is the only one I know that does that. I'm pretty sure Amazon might do it. Craigslist, no. You're just um, buying stuff at your own uh, risk. Um, but as far as eBay buying it and maybe even uh, getting it shipped from somewhere out of state, um, that's fine too. Um, but once you get it, if you don't know what to look for, then it's just a waste of time. So... So for me, I can only speak for myself. Um, you know, I haven't had a bad experience with eBay. And like I said, I never had any problems with uh, scams or my money being taken and not refunded. Um, I've hardly ever had to ask for a refund, maybe like three times. And out of those three times, I got it right away. So I don't have any problems with that. It's just a matter of knowing what to look for and um, getting in contact with the person, see if you can exchange emails back and forth. If you get a, if you put a good rapport in a short little time, then like I said, that's a good, that might be a good purchase for you. Uh, but I wouldn't buy anything that you send somebody an email, a message through eBay, and they don't answer back. Because I always say, if they don't answer before I pay them, I'm pretty sure they ain't gonna answer uh, after I pay them. So that's pretty much my take on it. So pretty much, I'm just gonna show people what I look for when I'm on eBay, uh, looking for ATM. So I pretty much type in ATM machine in the description, and um, you know, as I'm looking, I'm just looking at prices, you know, because most of them are pre-owned. The ones that are new are usually uh, from uh, ATM dealers that place their uh, ads on uh, eBay. <clears throat> so if you see like a newer machine, uh, I think Ocean Ocean ATM does it, and there's a couple more. Um, they may sell a new machine for like $17.99, but in return, you gotta agree to a five-year deal for processing. So that's kind of something we wanna avoid. Um, you just wanna find an independent dealer who's just looking to um, get rid of their ATM. So I got some for $1,500, $1,275, $1,199, some of them are pretty old. Some of them are uh, newer. You just gotta read the descriptions, you know, to see what all you, what what are they're offering on these. <clears throat> some of them have long descriptions. Some of them don't. So the ones that are, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. For the most part, uh, like this one right here. This has been on for a while, um, but there's only one photo. So if you're selling any item, you're gonna take more than one photo. So they tell you that when you build the list. Um, the more photos you have, the more likely uh, your machine is to sell. Uh, and they had just a, a real vague description. 
So that's pretty much too good to be true, really. You know, 1140 for uh, all point ATM machine, which is one picture. Uh, it doesn't say if it's a uh, EMV upgrade um, printer. It don't say anything as far as like um, what it has to offer. So I'll probably pass on that one. Uh, this one right here this is a brand new machine right here, twenty seven ninety nine, free shipping. Let's see the description. And like I said, this is from a independent company here. They give you a good description. Actually, it uh, it goes to their home page, so you had to contact them through their page. If you want to find out about that ATM. But that's pretty much, I mean, it's, it's really nothing to it, really. It's just it's just a matter of just seeing what's out there. Uh, these right here for 750 these are old right here. So I wouldn't even mess with them. I mean, you might be able to upgrade them, but I wouldn't. Uh, they got everything. You know, they got parts, um, wall mount ATMs. Uh, let's look at this one. This is a brand new Gen Mega 2500 for $19.95. Free shipping. Big description. Gives you the whole brochure, actually. And the ATM Mega Store. So, more than likely, uh, you can get it at that price uh, with uh, processing through their company. Uh, they got ATM keys, uh, ATM boards. Uh, this one right here. Um, so for twelve twenty five plus two fifty shipping is a uh, is an ATM here. Um, so you will have to upgrade it. Also, it look like it maybe be a handle handle ATM maybe. So they don't really say Massachusetts. It's only one and is used. Twenty eight people watching it. And this, uh, this is what I'm talking about here. This person has zero uh, feedback. So you'll take a chance on trying to buy that with uh, with this person here. But like I say, eBay offers a money back guarantee. So. Here's one right here for 1700 It has 12 pictures. So the more pictures, the better. And it shows you uh, all sides of the ATM, the inside. So that'll be something a uh, pretty good description here. And it's just something that you just have to contact them and ask questions. 100% feedback, but the 100% feedback doesn't always mean that, you know, they sold other ATMs. That's just all the items they sold together. This might be the first ATM that they ever sold. So it doesn't really make them an expert just because they're by selling one and have 100% feedback. So that's pretty much it, man. You just got to look through it, um, feel your way through it, contact the person, talk to them, know what to look for as far as the EMV upgrades, um, functionality, you know, if it works, do they have the codes, do they have the keys, all the, all the important stuff. It's everything included that's going to make it run once you get it, you know. And once you get it, you know, you have to see if you can find a... Um, a person or a company that can uh, do your processing for you and pretty much the same process as if you were going to buy a new one you just have to get all your paperwork together for the banks and processing and stuff like that so with buying it on eBay you don't have to have um, any paperwork to buy it on eBay you just buying it right out and you're just taking that chance with it so keep that in mind you don't have to have paperwork to buy it but you do have to get your paperwork together when you get the processing to make sure the machine is compliant and uh, it's going to operate the way it's supposed to operate. Otherwise, if you don't know how to operate it, you'll just have to call somebody out to uh, do it for you. So uh, in my area, it's like an ATM solutions uh, company that comes out and they have a technician that will uh, program your ATM for you. So, And that's about it. I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory. It's nothing real big, but it, I'm just saying how um, I wouldn't say it was luck. It was just... I knew what I was looking for, and it just so happened that the person lived really close to me in my area, and I won the bid, and I ended up just getting the ATM. So, 
Um, there's a lot of them on here I just really just pass on because it's too much to guess on. So, you know, like I say, it's your money. It's just, you know, it's just up to you if you are willing to take that risk. So, if you got any questions, just shoot me an email and uh, I'll uh, respond to them. All right, that's it.